So I believe that change occurs on a very small level, one family at a time. Thank you all for volunteering to be a part of our Interfaith Hospitality Network. I'm going to make a change for once in my life. I wanted life. to talk about why Interfaith Hospitality Network exists at all. Now, what's the problem? Why does this organization even exist? Make it right. We came from dropping our kids off at home school, and we came home, and it was a padlock on our door. We didn't get to get anything out the house or nothing, just the padlock was on. And looking at my children, it's like, it hurt a lot to look at them, to know that, I don't even know when y'all gonna lay your head at tonight, but I know it, I'm gonna make a way that Y'all gonna have somewhere to sleep. As long as I know that y'all have somewhere warm to sleep with a roof over your head, I'll, I'll deal with the rest of this tomorrow. Well, due to the whole economy, the poor economy in the country, um, the company for which we used to work at, they started laying off a lot of employees. And my husband and I, we both work for the same company. And you know, among all their employees, it was us. And we were searching for jobs and searching everywhere. Little by little, we lost everything. Our home, our transportation, everything. It even got to the point where we had to sell our belongings to feed our kids, you know? We didn't have any anything saved anymore and here we are you know trying to make the best of it how can you see someone that has a need and you are more than than you know, we're not even giving out of sacrifice, we're giving out of our extra. For us to go and spend the night and to bring a meal, is, it's not a hardship. It, it really isn't. Um, so how could we not do those things? Laura and I talked about getting involved, and yeah, let's bring the kids kicking and screaming. That was the assumption. So we all went, and it touched us all, and we all felt the same way and we all really didn't need to say, well, what are we gonna do next? It was, well, when is it, you know? So it was, it was, it was, it was very, very good experience. Hey, Jen reached out for me and said, come in, come in, I'll have a place for you. I'm not gonna leave you on the streets with the two kids. And we came here and they've been angels to us. I mean, they've offered more than what we asked for. IHN presents the opportunity for us to give hope and encouragement that they're not by themselves, they're not alone. My mother, she wasn't there at the times that I needed her to be there as far as being my mom when I was growing up. She wasn't never there, it was like, Okay, it's not like she's a mom that's out doing drugs and all this other stuff. She was always working. It was either she was working or she was at her boyfriend's house. No matter who's in my life, no matter what's going on in my life, if my children need me, I'm going to always be there to show them that you don't have to turn to nobody else because your parents is here. We're the ones who's supposed to help you, the ones who's supposed to help guide you through this life. So I'm going to always be here for no matter what. How high can you go, Yemi? How high? You visit with the families and, and you think, oh, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to be a blessing to someone else. But in turn, your takeaway is so much more. You come to realize how blessed you are, how fortunate you are that you're not in that situation. I believe that it could happen to any one of us. Any one of us. A story. It just seems like a, the perfect opportunity to 
contribute and teach your children important values. Respect, respect for themselves and respect for others, the importance of, of, of sharing. So those are, those are the two major values that, that I'd like my kids to, to, to have. You always want more though, than what you have for your kids. I want the best for them and if I'll do anything to help them get there. Today. What we want Raquel to experience is to be able to be more concerned about the well-being of other people than yourself. If she lives by that rule, I believe that she'll have a blessed life and be a blessing to others. I want to pass on just know that you can do something. Don't let nobody deter you from anything that you ever want to do. We came into this situation, me and my husband, and I'm still not going to let it stop us, no matter what. Don't give up on something that you want or something that you're striving for. Do not give up on it. Right now, all I care is having my own place with my family. And in a year from now, why not help Others here, help by a chance. You know, I see all these people volunteering, and I want to see myself being one of them. It's been the best thing that's happened to us. I mean, look at us. We're home.